Next up, we're going to make this cool mandala. Again, we're gonna use some recycled materials and glitter glue, and it's so much fun. So you're going to need some old or recycled CDs or DVDs, make sure they're not the good ones, some glitter glue, plastic lacing, scissors, a pencil, some sandpaper, a permanent marking pen, and then maybe some toothpicks and some towels for cleanup time. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a template for our CD. We're just gonna use our pencil and trace all the way around so that we know exactly how big our CD is. So this gives us a really good idea of how much space so we can make a template. Next, we're gonna use our scissors and just go ahead and cut that out. And you don't have to be super careful or specific, but it is gonna be your template, so you want it to be the same size as the CD or DVD. All right, and then what we're gonna do is kind of make a template in the same way that you make a snowflake. So we're gonna take the circle, we're gonna fold it in half, we're gonna fold it into thirds, that gives us six equal segments, and you know, if you need to, you kind of curl it into a cone and then squish it flat. And then if you like, you can even make one more fold in half. Now we're gonna have a template for you on the website so you don't have to remember this. Then you're gonna cut off the tip, cut off the ends like this. And again, this just gives you places to mark. And then I like to make one mark on one side and just kind of cut through the layers and then maybe make two cuts on the other side. Now, again, if we were doing this uh, with lightweight paper, we would end up with something that kind of looked like a snowflake or if we were making big cuts, but we're just making little holes so that when you unfold it, you end up with this. And this just gives us something to go on so that when we take our CD and we put it back down, we can use our permanent marking pen and just make nice equal lines all the way around. That gives it symmetry. And the hallmark of a mandala is symmetry, which means that it's same on both sides and or up or down. So I'm using my marking pen and I'm just making little dots all the way through so that I can see where my lines are. All right, so it might be a little challenging to see, but I've got all my dots. And now what I'm gonna do is just make a series of loops and lines and I'm connecting the dots. So I'm making some swirls here. Maybe down at the bottom I would start and go straight up and then make some triangles. But you can use triangles, straight lines. This is your chance to really be creative and create something that you like. And each time you do it, you can make a new original pattern like this. So once you've marked it all the way around, you're gonna have something that looks like this. Now, I took this one and I just scuffed it up a little bit with some sandpaper just so I would make sure that the glitter glue would really stick on, but it sticks on pretty well, so if you don't have sandpaper, you can skip that step. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our puffy paint. And since we have all of these marks made out for us, we're just gonna take our puffy paint and go right over the top like this. So all we're doing is going over those lines that we've already made and that pattern that we created. So I'm going back and forth like this. And I like to work from one side to the other so that I don't drag my hand through the wet paint. But take your time. Yeah, just like so. This is kind of a fun part. And what this is gonna do is the puffy paint dry is kind of raised and puffy so that it creates a little well for all of your glitter glue to lay inside and not smoosh around. It also creates a really nice bright bold outline so that you can see your colors better. So now when I get that all done, I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and it's gonna look like this. I do recommend that you let it dry overnight just because you wanna make sure it's completely dry. And now what we're gonna do is decorate. And I'm gonna take a little bit of paper and put it down on my table to protect it and I'm gonna use glitter glue, cause it's so much fun. And you can use sparkly glue, confetti glue, neon glue, you can really have a good time. I kind of like to think about the rainbow as I'm making my mandala, and I'm just putting little squirts of glitter glue 
in the areas. Now, when you have bigger spots, like this one over here, I'm gonna blend the colors. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this neon color down in the first part, kind of towards the center, like this. And then I'm gonna take a secondary color and kind of put it to the outside in the same little zone, right? So what I'm doing is it's a symmetrical pattern and I'm going back and forth. And then what I'll do is just take a toothpick and do a little blending back and forth like so. So when you've got it all filled up just the way you want, you're gonna to wanna to create a hanging cord. So you can take a piece of plastic lacing and your CD, thread it through like this and create a little knot using both parts at the same time. So you're gonna kind of wrap it around and then poke through like this and then repeat at the top so you have a way of hanging it up. And when the sun hits it, it sparkles and shines.